Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. I've got Walmart packs galore. I've got 10 Walmart packs. My wife actually picked these ones up over the weekend and I'm thinking she did pretty good based on what I can see on the side. I'll show you guys all about that in a little bit, but the chase is on. The chase is real with these Walmart packs. Tales from the flip side had an awesome show Monday night. I'll try to link that show to the description below. And in the first like half hour, they talked about the chase for these Walmart packs. It is freaking crazy. I'm excited to open up these. I haven't opened up any, but I've watched a ton of videos and people are picking up some crazy stuff. Hopefully you guys are excited. Here we go. I highly encourage you guys to check out my favorite comic book app, which is the Shortbox app. It is the easiest way to buy and sell graded comic books. You guys won't regret it, so check out the links in the description below. All right, so I'm pretty excited to get into these three packs from Walmart. These first two my wife picked up. I sent her out actually looking for this Aliens book because I heard that a lot of people were finding the pulls and the chase books within these Aliens packs, but the more and more I watch these videos, I don't think it really matters. I think they're just randomly uh, inserted into any of these packs, but I do know that the second one that she picked up, which is the Infinite Destinies Captain America number one, has one of the pulls in it because you can see from the side, and she identified that while she was in Walmart and then brought it home for me. So the other covers that I got, there's gonna be multiples in here. I picked up two Star Wars High Republics and I kind of made sure to look at the sides to make sure there was no doubles. So when I was looking at both, I would look at the second and third book to just try to see if there was no doubles. Now that could be a huge mistake because there were some uh, identical packs and I tried to I wanted to be uh, get the most variety in this video so I've also got extreme carnage I do have another aliens pack I've got one of these black cats black cat annual number one which I was gonna pick this one up already because I think there's a first appearance in this can't remember not sure I think I might have seen that on CBSI or something like that and then infinite destinies uh, Iron Man versus quantum number one i got one of the x-men packs war of the bounty hunters number one um, just so i can actually have this book and read it and then we'll see if there's any pull books on the inside so how i'm going to do this is i'm going to show each book the first pack i started to open is this black hat annual number one i'll show each book within the packs and then i'll do a little research after i show all the books and then i'll put some information uh, up here as far as what they are if there's any kind of you know, good variant, or if there's any incentive or ratio variant, and then try to put some values. So the first book up is uh, Weird World, number three variant edition. So this is uh, probably the B cover of this. I'm not sure of anything. So I'm, I'm not gonna just keep repeating that I'm not sure. I'll just put the information down below. And if there's no information, it was just, you know, pretty much a B cover or just a second uh, cover to that book. Okay. We've got, everybody's been picking this book up and it is Black Panther number 166, the Marvel Legacy. So not very pumped about that one. Don't really care much about that book at all. And then we've got this Black Cat Annual number one and this is the first appearance of the Tiger Division according to um, Key Collector app, which is the first team appearance of the Tiger Division, the General, Luna Snow, the Enigma, or Mr. Enigma, Gun R2, um, Auntie, or Auntie, and then Auntie Anne, I guess that's what it is, and then White Fox. So there are some variants to this cover, but um, it says on there there's about an $18 high, and it's gone up. I'm pretty sure after this they're going to have to reconfigure that because this is very, very common now, and uh, yeah. Next pack up is this X-Men. All right, X-Men number one. The first one up is a Cable, Days of Future Past variant. This is number three. And this is some kind of um, pretty decent ratio because it's the four, it's, you know, the serial number is four there. So I'll put some information down below on what this one is, Days of Future Past. Next up is this Captain Marvel Star. And this is the second print on this one. And this is like that concept variant. And then you've got this awesome X-Men number one. Really great, really great story. Absolutely love when the X-Men are fighting um, this big old monster. So anyways, there's that book and that pack. Next pack up is this Iron Man versus Quantum number one. 
I'm hoping to find some of the store variants, store exclusives, high ratio variants. It would it, Either way, it's fun to have a chase from Walmart again. Uh, this is Venom, number 30, and this is a variant edition, so Ryan Stegman cover. Got a few spine ticks, but nothing crazy. As you can see, there's a few spine ticks right here. Light catches it. Here's that. And then you've got the Walmart variant for this book. There's the back cover. All right, my first Aliens pack. Is it true? Do the Aliens hold some of the crazier books? Some of the high ratio stuff? And maybe I've got something cool already. I don't know. All right, so it look, looks like we've got a sketch cover of some sort. Eternals number one this is a sketch cover. It's got a two on the back as far as what variant it is. Yeah, so this is basically just a sketch cover. It doesn't even have the inside cover, which is crazy. So I'm wondering, you know, what's up with that? It's just the sketch cover and nothing, no other cover on the inside. We'll see. I have no clue. We've got Deadpool number 12, and this is a standard cover. And then we have the Aliens Walmart variant. All right, Extreme Carnage is up next. We've got Spider-Man number one. This is the J.J. Abrams. That's a really nice cover. I like that cover a lot. That's the Virgin, the Virgin cover. So there's that. Absolutely nothing on it. So that's crazy. I wonder what that is. Either way, that's real. It's and it's in beautiful condition too. So I'm gonna set this one aside. Fantastic Four. And this is some sort of variant as well. Fantastic Four 33. And then you've got your Extreme Carnage. So I'm not like jumping for joy yet because I don't know if any of these are crazy. Maybe at the end we'll do a recap, show the, um, the craziest books within this. But either way, it's like I said, it's exciting. Hopefully there's some really cool pulls in this. Otherwise, I've got a lot of doubles and stuff to read, give away and, and whatnot. So this is pretty fun. All right, so this is the High Republic first. Uh, this is the first pack of the couple that I have. This one is Moon Knight, 200 variant, 200. Very nice variant, I have no idea, but we will see, we will see. Also very nice condition. Okay, I see an X-Men Red number one, just the back, so I have no, it, it's probably not. Oh, this is, this is neat, Jean Grey. Almost looks like Claymation or something like that, which I'm not a huge fan of, or like a Robot Chicken. So I'm going to look up every single one of these, and then you've got your Star Wars High Republic. All right, next up, another Star Wars High Republic. And in my area, there's so many more of these. Like, I just was picking and choosing which ones I wanted to grab. There were so many more packs. And so if these go well, I mean, if, if the value's there, I might go back and pick some more up. But this is Return of the Valkyries. And I've seen somebody pull this one already. I'm not sure what, if that's anything special or, or anything. Oh, and what do you know? We've got Black Panther 166. And then, of course, the High Republic. All right, this is pack number eight. And this is Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters. Let us see. Let us see. So far, I haven't gotten any store exclusives to my knowledge. X-Men number 10. Some some kind of variant. I haven't seen any like torpedo comics on the back of any of these yet. This one is Wolverine number 8. Celebrating 350 issues. And this one is a standard Adam Kubert cover. All right, and you've got that War of the Bounty Hunters covered. Now to the two packs that my wife picked up. We will open up 
this aliens pack first and see how this one goes so for nothing crazy like I've seen other in other people's videos well at least I don't know yet first one up is this action figure variant for let's see X-Men Legends number two it's interesting Maestro number five and this is a standard cover and then you've got the aliens number four Ron Lim cover last pack up and this is the one I actually take a picture of this this is the one that you can tell there was a pull in it by looking at the side it's this it's the second book in there so it's sandwiched the bottom book looks like it has a grid so it's one of those design variants or the design concept variants the second one in there is the is one of the chase books one in 50 so I just took a picture I'll try to share it you can see the webbing in that picture on the second book like I said the third one has that design or you know that grid but the second book as you can see has the the webbing so you know what that book is so the first one up is Captain America number one the infinite destinies it's the back of that one and then here it is in pretty nice condition looking good this is the Pat Gleason one in 50 second print so amazing spider-man 55 second print one in 50 and this is the same one that came out with a red cover like a black background with a red cover on it and then the last one up is this design variant for earth's mightiest heroes heroes the avengers number 40. it's got prince namor on it or phoenix namor phoenix wolverine and phoenix captain america pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead and look these books up and make sure to go back in the video and check them out and then we'll have a little recap right after this <laughs> all right so it turns out there were some pretty decent hits the first one is i mean there's some pretty decent variants in this uh this is the first one that i pulled and put it into mylar um, nothing crazy it's a one in ten design variant um, it's about uh, maybe ten to fifteen dollars so it, it hits the the variant um or it hits the ratio price as far as it's a one in ten so it's ten dollars uh, sometimes you can get even um uh, ratio variants at half price so the fact that this is maybe a five ten fifteen dollar book is is pretty decent then you have the pat gleason one in 50 uh, amazing spider-man 55 this is the book that i kind of really wanted to grab because it was maybe the most obvious chase book that was that was out there the one that was confirmed the most to be out there and this is a one in 50 and it's going for about 20 to 30 dollars on ebay some of the most recent sales were an offer accepted on a $28 fixed price and then an offer accepted on a $40 fixed price but there are a ton of these out there so it's probably about a $20 to $30 book and now the big boys I just I passed these ones up I did make a small comment when I looked at them the first one up is the spider-man number one Olivia Koi Pell virgin variant one in 500 and this is fantastic it's a one in 500 so we got one of the bigger hits that is really great I read this book I bought this one uh, picked it up you know uh, back when it came out so I'm I'm excited to pick up the Olivier Coipel one in 500 there are listings for this book around 120 to 500 dollars there are three on eBay right now so maybe those are three other people maybe I'm the fourth one that picked this one up <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna list these ones these aren't attached to me so if you have something cool you want to trade I don't think I'm gonna go try to sell these books but if these are like something that you're really pining over I just hit me up hit me up in the comments and we can try to figure something out or hit me up on IG I definitely do actually like this book and it's a one in 500 so that was really really cool to pull out of these uh, three packs and then the last one I didn't even recognize the artwork but it's Bill Sienkiewicz this is a one in 500 as well so this is Moon Knight number 200 the Bill Sienkiewicz one in 500 color variant now there's Bill Sienkiewicz Moon Knight 200 
Mastered Edition, which is, I guess, the colorless version of this, or, or like the, the sketch version. And so this is pretty awesome. So you guys, we pulled two 1 in 500s. Can you believe it? I'm, I'm excited about this. I think that's a pretty good success out of 10 packs. So 10 packs is just under 100 bucks if you figure in taxes, probably around yeah, probably around 100 bucks with taxes included. And so we pulled two 1 in 500s, a 1 in 50, a 1 in 10, I think a couple 1 in 5s, and then just some other B variants or Walmart exclusives or just a uh, nice variant cover. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, definitely, thank you so much for watching. I don't do these very often, but this was definitely a fun one that I'm excited about. I did put some of those books into Mylar already. The rest of these will be reader books or put into, you know, poly bags, especially like this one, first appearance of that tiger division or tiger, whatever it's called. Anyways, awesome books. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified, hit that thumbs up and comment down below what you thought. If you pulled anything, let me know in the description below. If you're even able to find these Walmart packs, let me know in the description. Let's have a conversation down there and I'll talk to you all on the next one. See you. Bye.